Here is the standard stock anti-rise setting. It's the low position. Make sure the shocks are extended and ready to go. Here's what happens when you drive slowly with 30% overdrive. As you can see, the shocks slowly compress. That's because the front wheels are pulling against the rear wheels. The rear wheels are like having the brakes on. And that stretches your wheelbase and pulls your rear suspension down. Now, let's try it under acceleration to see if it changes. Nope, pull it straight down. You can prove the inverse by driving backwards. And see that the shocks extend. Again, that's because the rear brakes are on and the front wheel is pushing the chassis up. Let's try it under acceleration. Conventional wisdom would say the anti-squat should keep the rear end from squatting. But it completely bottomed out the shocks. Try it in reverse. You'll see that it extended the shocks. Once again, under acceleration, suck the shocks down. Now let's try with a high anti-squat setting and see what happens to the rear shocks. As you can see, they immediately compress. Now if I go backwards, they extend. Now let's see what happens if you punch it fast. With a high anti-squat setting, it should stay up. But it did not. Again, that's because the overdrive is completely overriding any anti-squat setting. As you can see, the shocks sink down every time.